Today we're making a crispy basil salmon that's super easy, flavorful, and just melt in your mouth. I paired that with my favorite roasted root vegetables that I topped with a little basil dressing that's so delicious. It's easy, it's perfect for the weeknights, so let's get into it. Start by bringing your salmon to room temperature. This will ensure that it doesn't stick to the pan when frying. I'm using four salmon fillets with no skin just because that's what my family likes, but you can use skin on as well. I'll instruct you on how to cook both. I'm adding a little drizzle of olive oil to both sides and brushing that on. I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper, both sides, and I'm seasoning from up high so it evenly disperses and doesn't season in clumps. I like to season right before frying because the salt draws out the moisture, but if you need to season in advance, just make sure to pat it dry with a paper towel just to make sure that we get that crispy crust that we're looking for. Make sure to use a high smoke point oil. I'm using avocado oil, which I heated on medium high heat for about two minutes. If you're cooking your salmon with the skin, you want to start skin side down. This is because the skin is tough and can withstand more time on the hot surface without overcooking. Reduce your heat to medium and cook for about three to five minutes if you're using skinless salmon and five to seven minutes if you're using skin on. We just want the skin to crisp up a bit. Flip it over and cook it for an additional three to four minutes. And man, I was really struggling with this piece. Sometimes these angles for shooting are not ideal for cooking. It's been about three minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over, and oh, look at that. These look great. The tops are nice and crisp, and this was exactly what I was going for. I made a basil butter with butter, basil, garlic, onion powder, and lemon juice. I'm just melting that down a bit and spooning it over my salmon while it finishes cooking for about 30 seconds. This is similar to how you finish cooking a steak. Playing this back really cracked me up because of the intensity I have while spooning. It felt like I was like, now you get some butter and you get some butter. Oh, I didn't forget about you, buddy. You get some butter too. You don't want to skip this step. It really adds in that flavor and makes a great sauce for your salmon and sides. And look at that. It's so juicy. It has that crispy top. You have extra sauce to add on to your salmon while serving and to serve with your rice or whatever you're serving with. It's flaky. It's delicious. It's so juicy. It was really, really great. This is a quick, quick thing to make during the week on the weekends it'll really really impress your family and guests i served my salmon with some roasted root vegetables but these do take a while to roast in the oven but if you have time it's so worth it i started with japanese sweet potatoes which i love because their interiors get so buttery and fluffy when roasted this is due to the higher starch content just peel them and dice them into larger chunks I'm also using a russet potato and what I do is I shave down one of the sides so that it's flat and really easy to cut. I'm also dicing these into larger cubes. You want them to be pretty uniform when baking so that they all bake evenly. I'm using a traditional red sweet potato because I absolutely love them, but again, you can use any root vegetables that you like. When cutting these, you get a little bit of a workout. You really gotta put your back into it, but go ahead and cut those into thick chunks like you did your Japanese sweet potato and set aside. I'm using a red onion, which are great for grilling and get a really nice char when you grill them and the insides get nice and fluffy. You're just going to cut it in half and slice them and set aside. Transfer everything to your baking sheet and we're gonna top with olive oil, some salt, pepper and some fresh rosemary and we're going to bake that at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes until your veggies are tender to the fork. While our veggies are roasting, let's make our super easy basil dressing. You're gonna add your basil, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and salt to your food processor and you're gonna give that a good 
blend. This sauce complements your veggies so well because it's citrus and savory and then you have the sweetness from your veggies and it's so so good. You can even use this sauce on top of your salmon. So give that a taste test and see if you need to adjust. Our veggies are ready and ready to go and we're just going to let them cool slightly and then we're going to add in our basil dressing. Give that a little bit of a mix and they're ready to serve with your salmon or any protein that you're serving. I also love to plate it and then I drizzle it with some more of my basil dressing and it's so delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try it.